Right guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be testing out this ceramic wash and protect from Autoglim, which is also another new product for 2024. You may have seen another video that I've just done recently, which was the Autoglim wheel cleaner. So this is the other new product of the year from Autoglim. You may have already seen a few videos of this on YouTube already, but I'm going to show you in this video the best way to get the best results out of this product. Let's get into the video and I'll show you the best ways of using this product. So what I've done, I've pre-washed the vehicle already. And as you'll see now, there's actually no protection on this car. I'm just going to demonstrate that now. There's literally no protection on the car at all. You see there's no protection on the car at all. So this product is to give some protection to that car. So it's a ceramic wash and protect. Um, it gives you a bit of instruction on the back. So there's many ways that you can use protection products on your car. You could use a snow foam type of product where you rinse it on the car, rinse it off. You could use a spray type product. You could use waxes, or you could use a ceramic coating. What this product is really what I think it's about is just giving you that little bit of protection and then you go on and give it a top up. So you could give a snow foam on top like Polo Blast, for example, on top of this. So just give you the extra bit of protection and just help with the drying aid. Um, this product gives really, really good cleaning abilities. Um, I have used this already, actually. So this is not the first time using this product. I have used it on my own car. And I was actually really impressed with it. Um, you've seen other YouTube videos, maybe, of this, that they don't show very good water behavior. Now, there's a reason for this, that they've used it in the bucket. So you can use this product in the bucket, and that's what they tell you to do. Um, so what I, the way I'm going to show you is to get the best results, and that's through, through a foam cannon. So you apply the same amount of product that you do in the bucket but into the actual cannon itself you top it up with about 400 ml of water and that gives you the perfect amount to give the best water behavior and then you'd let that sit on the car for longer because you're getting the foam all over the car so you're using that as a more of a ceramic type of spray on the car but it sits there and then you can go around with your wash mitt using your bucket method as well as you wash so i'm going to show you that process i'm going to show you on the car and sort of show you what sort of water behavior you're going to get so it's sort of going off from the instructions what it tells you to do but I just found this was the best way when I was testing out on my own car. And I just want to give a thanks to Autoglim again, the research team for actually thinking of me and sending this down to me. This was part of their research into products and part of the research they did with me. And these products have come out from these researching that they've done. So yeah, really happy that they've found a product that has been from my research that I've done with them. Um, it's just really, really nice to think that they've actually thought of me in this process and also sent me a letter out to say thanks and all that for part of the process of getting this product on the shelf. So let's go and see how it works and I'll show you on the bonnet of this car. So we've got our actual product in here. So we've used three capfuls and 400 ml of water. And I'm just going to demonstrate it on the bonnet. So I'm going to spray it onto the bonnet. So let's get it attached to the Ava pressure washer. And we're using the Ava snow foam gut cannon. So I'm just going to apply it just to the actual bonnet itself. And as you can see, it comes out a little bit thicker than it would in the bucket. And this gives you a bit more dwell time to work with the product. Um, so you just let that sit for a, a, a minute or so. And then you're going to get your wash mitt and actually work the product into the actual paintwork and wash your paintwork. And what I found with this product, it gives a really, really good glossy shine to it as well, as well as giving some good protection. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to demonstrate the wash process in a minute. And then obviously we're going to wash it off and we'll see what sort of water behavior we get. So we've got our wash mitt, which is also the Auto Glim wash mitt. So no sponsor here. I've actually not been told to make a video either. I've just been told, thanks for helping us out in the research and here's some products for you. They haven't asked me to do a video, they haven't asked me to say anything, so this is just this is my opinion on these products and what I think of them. I used to be a proper into Maguire products, but ever since working with Autoglim and seeing how their products are and using them, I'm, I've been really impressed with them so far, so I've been using a lot more Autoglim products. So yeah, basically just use your wash mitt, and as you do one panel at a time, you'd rinse it in your bucket, your water bucket. You just go along the, the bonnet like that. And Try and keep up and down motion. This is the obviously defense as well, Mark. You don't want to be going around in circles like that, so just sort of nice up and down movements. Then you've got your bonnet washed. Now, the other way you could use this product, so obviously you've done one panel, you'd rinse it in your wash bucket, and you rinse it out, and you'd go around the whole car like that. Now, 
The other way you could use this product is you could spray it on the whole car um, and let it sit for a while, then spray our topper on top of that. Um, that's well, yeah, I've got a bee on the old camera now. What the hell? Okay, we've got bumblebee in part of it, so we'll leave that part in for the filming. But yeah, so what was I saying? So yeah, we would. Um, we you could go around the whole car with a spray, let it sit for a little while, and then top it again with the snow foam. But you may not be able to do that with the 400 mil. The 400 mil will go around the car of this sort of size. Um, you could top up 800 millilitres, so you could use three, four, six ca uh, capfuls of the product with 800 mil of water and you could go around the car a couple of times, you could top it on there, leave it on there and then go around it again with it and then obviously wash your car. So let's see what sort of water behaviour we get from this now that we've actually washed the car. you'll see is it's water sheeting instead of water beading so it sheets the water off so it's a different type of product and so what I'd say about this is you're gonna get the water sheeted so the water is actually leaving the bonnet really nicely than it was before so you can see it's got some kind of protection there now if you top this product with the polo seal then you're gonna get the beading as well so as I just bring the camera around for you so you can see better but you can see that it's the water is actually sort of left the bonnet now so you're getting quite a lot of water sheeting more than water feeding now this helps with drying it removes the water so this is the way that I'd use this product to get that sort of effect and then I'll top it with the polo seal just to give it that bit more protection you gotta remember these products this product will probably only give you about a month's worth of protection it's not a long-term product um, but it does helps with drying gives a really nice finish to the paintwork as well it gives a bit of a gloss and as you can see it's sort of water sheeted all that water off straight away um, so yeah it's um does what it's meant to do maybe people were expecting it to have water beading and stuff which is not the case I've used a few different products so I've used the um, G Technic ceramic wash one and the turtle wax ceramic wash one and I feel that this one is on par with the G Technic one the G Technic one is really really good as well and um, the turtle wax one's okay but it's, it's cheaper it's about nine pound something nine pound ten pound mark so it's a lot cheaper than these these are like 25 pound the G Technic ones are around about the same price, so you're going to be paying for what you're getting. But I feel this is on par with the G Technic um, ceramic wash. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just get my water with no pressure and just show you sort of the protection that you're going to get. So yeah, I've just got my pressure washer disconnected from the water now, uh, from the power now. So, we're just going to sort of spread it on and you can see how it's going to work. So, you can see that it's sheeting the water off very quickly. So it has gave that bit of protection you can see it's not water beading as much as like the polo seal the polo seal from water gleam is a really good product for that protection really does bead that water off but you can see that it giving it has gave some protection and it is water sheeting pretty fast now uh, as i was saying this product i recommend to use with a snow sealant like the polo seal or any type of one you've got valet pros valet uh, pros got snow seal there's loads of different companies out there that do it uh, works really well so you are getting some kind of water beading now you can see as it's your water in it is getting better so it's actually picking up a bit it just takes a little while to act uh, might need to just sit on the car for a little while once you've washed it but you can see it's picking up now a little bit more beads but yeah i think the product's doing what it's meant to do it's giving you that bit of protection so that's a little demonstration of using this ceramic wash and protect from Auto Glim, which is new for 2024. So what are my thoughts on it? So I really like the product. I think it's a really nice, uh, gives a really nice finish to the car, gives you some protection. Obviously it's not the full protection that you might have want. You're gonna probably top it with some kind of sealant, but it gives you that little bit of protection. Um, just tops your protection up as well. It's um, good for that. Um, just be careful that this product does say it's not suitable for matte cars or matte finishes so be careful if you've got matte alloys and stuff that's what i've got on my car so i'd be a little bit careful with that because it does give some kind of gloss to the it's a gloss enhancing enhancing product so it can affect your matte paint so don't use this on matte if you want to use this type of product for matte matte paint type ones then the g technic one is perfect for that you can use it on matte paint so this one says it don't use it on the matte paint so just, just something to be aware of but overall it's a really nice product. If you want that sort of more foamier product, then this is not going to be for you. Some people like a lot of, you know, a lot of foam, a lot of like that, you know, bubbly product on the car, you know, that you'll sort of feel like you're working stuck in. This is not going to give you that. It's more of that sort of deep cleaning, 
protection, but also that good gloss on the product. So you'll get that on the paintwork. Um, so I haven't cleaned this side yet, but the bonnet is looking good. But yeah, so I think it's a pretty good product. It's about how you use this product. So you could use it in a bucket, which I don't think gives you the best. I don't know, for me, it just didn't do it enough for me. When I use it through the foam cannon, it gives that a bit more protection. So that, that's the way I'd use it. And that's what I think is the best way to use this product. So that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my wheel cleaner one as well. And that's it for Auto Glim. Two products tested and on the channel. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys.